So let's play with a hypothetical um, example of using Darcy's law. So let's say we had a situation like this where we have a clay bund sitting on top of an impermeable material. And on one side of the clay bund, we have uh, three meters of water. Um, and on the other side, we have uh, 1.5 meters of water. You can see that the three meters of water will want to, will create a hydraulic gradient um, with the 1.5 meters of water. So water will want to flow through the, uh, the clay bund. So what, the question we might want to ask is, well, what is the flow of water per meter of, a, of, of bund? Um, and to do that, we can use Darcy's law. Um, so Darcy's law is looking at the, the flow, and that's equal to the cross-sectional area of flow multiplied by the permeability multiplied by the hydraulic gradient. Well, what we're trying to answer is the flow per meter squared of, of, um, of bund. So we can just divide the flow per area and write the equation like this. So the flow per area uh, is equal to the permeability times the hydraulic gradient. Well, the permeability is given in the, uh, in the question. It's equal to 10 to the minus 9 meters per second. The hydraulic gradient is the change in height of the uh, bund, the change in height of the water level over the flow length. So the change in height is uh, 3 meters minus 1.5 minus 1.5 divided by the length of flow, which is the thickness of the bund, 0 0.5 meters. So that's equal to 3. So for every meter squared of embankment, the flow is equal to 3 times 10 to the minus 9. Meters cubed per second per meters squared of bund. This is a bit of a, um, an awkward number, so we could also write that as 90 five liters per year. A little bit more manageable 